My name is Nicole with So Much More. In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to the So Steady Grid Glider. A friend of mine shared this with me and I started using it. I love it so much that I started stocking these in my online shop. Let me show you, you're gonna love it. The So Steady Grid Glider is a removable mat with micro suction technology that creates a slick sewing surface for your sewing machine. There's a couple sizes you can choose from. There's a small size, which is 11 by 14, or a large size, which is 12 by 20. The grid gliders come in these compact tubes with these protective sheets. And it's recommended that you save those protective sheets for later because you can always wrap this back up into the tube. So there are lines on the grid glider that can be aligned with the measurement markings on the plate of your sewing machine. Once you get the grid glider set into place, you can use those lines in a variety of ways. For instance, you can use the center line to help you with snowballing your quilt blocks. Snowballing is like sewing a diagonal line. This is super useful so you don't have to draw a line and then sew on the line. Simply align the top corner of your beginning stitch with your needle and align the opposite corner with the line on the grid glider. Sew your line as normal just without the extra step of marking. Talk about a time saver. Another popular use for the grid glider is helping with your seam allowance. As I mentioned before, you can align the grid glider with the markings on your sewing machine base plate. Both grid gliders have multiple measurement markings. For quilters, the most common measurement marking is a quarter inch. This is perfect for the normal quilter seam allowance. If you have other patterns with different seam allowances, there's also 3 8 inch, 5 8 inch, a half inch, and of course the 1 inch markings as well. Let me show you how easy it is to use the grid glider to help manage my seam allowance. Now I've simply aligned the edge of my fabric pieces to the quarter inch line and just started sewing. I'm taking care to keep the raw edge of the pieces aligned with the seam marking line. It's super easy and very accurate. Another popular use for the grid glider is for free motion quilting. Because the grid glider has a slick sewing surface, it's ideal for free motion quilting. As you can see, I've switched out my presser foot for a darning foot. And I'm using quilting discs instead of gloves because it allows better control over my project. I just love how the grid glider covers the surface of my sewing table and allows my project to flow freely along the surface. I often get asked how I can change my bobbin with the grid glider covering the surface of the table. And it's actually pretty simple. You just lift up the mat, get access to your bobbin, and then place the mat back where it was. I've used my grid glider for a while now and it still grips my sewing surface. Removing the mat is easy too. You just peel it off the surface. And then apply the piece of plastic that originally came with your mat. And you can roll this up and put it back into the tube that it came from. The large size grid glider works just the same as the small grid glider. I like to use the large one with my Sew Steady VersaTable. I love the VersaTable for free motion quilting. It has such a large work surface that I find it very simple to quilt on my domestic when using this table. And having the grid glider on top of this VersaTable makes the surface very slick and the fabric moves so much easier on top of it. 
which size will work best for your sewing machine. To learn more about the grid glider, check out the link in the description just below this video.